your name be glorified. I give you glory. I give you glory. Praise the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I am excited to be right where you are. I'm so glad to come to your life from the altar of UK World Evangelism Church. We give God praise. We give God praise. We give God praise. Let the saints of God rejoice and give God a clap of him and bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Father, we thank you so much. We give praise and honor to you. We give glory to your name. Thank you for the privilege you have given us to serve you. Thank you for the privilege to worship you. Thank you for choosing us to be servants unto you, O God. We give you praise, glory, and honor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Before we continue, let's have a worship together through one of our songs in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, no, no, no. 
Praise the Lord. Welcome back to the auditorium here. We give God thanks for what he's doing and what he wants to do with us today. Let us pray, all of us. Father, we thank you so much and give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We worship you. We adore you. You alone are worthy to be praised. There is none like you. There is no other God beside you. There is none that compares with you. Father, thank you for the work of UK World Evangelism Church. Thank you for raising a voice from this altar to speak to the nations. Thank you for the grace you have given us, every member of this church, to stand together for your work. Father, we thank you for what you have done with us even till today. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Take your place. Glorify Jesus through us. Save the lost. Let the gospel be preached to us powerfully and boldly in the name of Jesus. Anoint us and use us as instrument in the name of Jesus. And Father, bless your people, those that are watching us right now on the Facebook, on the YouTube. Wherever you are, you are watching us. We release the glory of God and the power of God to touch you. We release the power of the blood of Jesus to touch you. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, there is no limit in the realm of the Spirit. God is able to do for you whatever you ask or believe, even right now. In Jesus' mighty name, and the church of God said, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I have one camera, so they can see you, but they can hear your voice. So let everybody shout, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's shout it again. Praise the Lord. Amen. For me today is a day of uh, joy and thanksgiving and um, just to do this program is a sign to say to God, thank you. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for helping us this far. Praise God. I remember 19 years ago, I was made a bishop by ordination and the council. And that time, I did not even know what it is and what it was. But now, I'm beginning to understand what it means. It means that we still have a greater work ahead of us. It means that we still have something we want to do for God and God wants to do with us. God who has kept us knows that he has a plan and purpose for us. I am so thankful to God for every member of UK World Evangelism Church. I know that God is going to use all of you so mightily, even at this end time. God is going to raise you up. God is going to anoint you. God is going to use you. So I want all of us, let's lift hand and just give God thanks. Father, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for keeping us alive. We thank you for anointing us and using us as a voice to the nations. Father, we thank you for the work that has been done through UK World Evangelism Church all over the world oh god thank you for the people whom their life has been touched from this anointing and from this father we say thank you thank you for the miracles that are taking place thank you for the people that are saved thank you for the ministers that are raised thank you for those that have been encouraged through this altar father we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor we worship you we adore you we glorify your name thank you father we give glory to your name, Lord. We give honor to your name, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. And we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Church, you know, I remember the scriptures. That are 125, Psalm 125. Uh, the scripture that was saying, If the Lord has not been with us, if the Lord has not been with us, let Israel say it. 
Can you find that scripture? Is that Psalm 125? Either 125 or 124, whichever one. Should be somewhere there. If the Lord has not been with us, if the Lord has not been with us, have you found it? Check Psalm 124, that's correct. Yes, read it. Psalm 124, Psalm 124. David, put it on, put it on the screen, let others see it too. Yes. Read it. If it has not been the Lord, who was on our side? Let Israel, let you get what evangelism say, church, say so. Yeah. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive. Alive. When, when their wrath was kindled against us. When their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. The swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord. Who has not given us, has not given us as, a prayer to their as a prayer to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird. Our soul have escaped as a bird. From the snare of the fowlers. From the snare, of the, snare the snare is broken. <laughs> Hallelujah. The snare is broken. Yes. And we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven, Who made heaven and earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church say with me. The snare is broken. And we have escaped. And we have escaped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, our help. Our help. Say, my help. My help. Come it from the Lord. From the, the, creator Lord. Of heaven and earth. the creator of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, I want us to think about it. If the Lord has not been with us. If it has not been the Lord who was with us. The waters would have swallowed us. The streams would have overflowed us. But blessed be the Lord. Who has not allowed us to be swallowed alive. Amen. The snare is broken. 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 Ayakata. And we have escaped. Somebody declare I have escaped. We have escaped. The church has escaped. The people of God has escaped. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. I remember that on Sunday here, we were sharing the story about Moses by the Red Sea. God spoke to Moses. Why are you crying unto me? Speak to the children of Israel to move forward. And you yourself, lift up your rod and stretch it over the sea and divide the sea. I believe that God is giving each one of us an, an anointing from above. Amen. That from now on, every Red Sea that stands before us, we have the power and the authority to divide it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God in your life, the faith of God you have, the word of God in your mouth is big enough, is strong enough to divide every Red Sea that you will face. Every Red Sea that will confront you. Every Red Sea that will stand before you. You will divide them. And you will pass through it through victory. You will pass through it to a safe place. You will pass it to the promised land. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
The snare is broken. We have escaped. Our help is from the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible said that some may trust in horses, some may trust in chariots, but our confidence is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody declare that with me. Say, my confidence, my confidence is in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, the name of the Lord, the of the Lord is a strong tower. A strong tower. The, righteous the righteous run into it and they are saved. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Woo, glory to God. I remember 19 years ago. And some of the experiences I had before I was made a bishop. And how God miraculously allowed me to pass through it. One day God will give me grace to share the testimony. But not for today. Today is Thanksgiving. <laughs> hallelujah. The God who has brought us this far, He will keep us even till the end. Amen. Somebody declare with me, say, I will reach my destination. I will, my destination. I will finish well. I, will finish I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Somebody, Somebody say, I'm a champion. I'm a, champion. I'm a, winner. I'm a winner. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. In, the In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking back, some of the things we have passed as a church, and yet God still kept us. God still kept us. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Who has kept us? Who has preserved us? We are saying, Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you. For your loving kindness, thank you. For the joy of your salvation, thank you. We give praise to your name. We give glory to your name. We give honor to your name. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. I will be speaking some prophetic words over us as the Lord moves me. But let's read the book of Luke. Chapter 17 from verse 14. Luke 17 from 14. Yes. So when he saw them. When he saw them. He said to them. He said to them. Who are these people? He, he, does uh, verse uh, you know, 13 say anything? Yes. Yeah. Tell us. Yes. Then. Luke 17, 12. Yes. Then as he entered a certain village. As he entered a certain village. There met him ten men. There met him ten men. Who were lepers. Who were lepers. Who stood afar off. Who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voice. Now Dr. Mubai preaches to us. And says all marvelous things. He began to preach and teach. He said that who is a leper? A leper is a helpless person. A person that is rejected. A person that has no value. A person that has no place in the midst of society. A person who cannot help himself. A helper is a person that have lost the pains of life. Alive but being eaten alive. Who is a leper? A leper is someone is alive but has no value for life. As the scripture says, it says, and they lifted up their voices and said, What did they say? Jesus. Jesus. Master. Master. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Yes. So when he saw them. When he saw them. He said to them, Go show yourself to the priest. Jesus, at this point in time, did not pray. You know, there are many things that confront us and we say, Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. You know, this is a crazy situation. But in my heart, in my mind, I believe that Jesus knew for these lepers to call on his name for help. 
It means they already have faith in his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, the Bible says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh unto, the, unto God must first believe that God is, and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Praise God. Hebrew 11, 3 says that by faith, we know that everything that exists, that we are all framed by faith. So faith moves every mountain in the way. Faith has the power to change any situation in this world. Faith in the name of the Lord. Faith in the power of God. Faith in the promises of God. Faith in the word of God. It has the power to change every situation. Lepers. They saw him and they lifted up their voice and they cried unto him and they said unto him, Jesus, number one, they called on his name. Master, they described that he's the one in charge. They recognized him. They acknowledged him and they declared, help us. We need your help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus, looking at them, said unto them, what did Jesus say? He said to them. He said to them. Go. Go. Show yourself. Show to yourself to the priest. And so it was. And so it was. That as they went. As they honored his word. As they obeyed his word. As they accepted his instruction and counsel. As they went. Yes. They were cleansed. They were all cleansed. As they went. As they obeyed his word, as they obeyed his command, they were all cleansed. Yes. And one of them. And one of them. When he saw that he was healed. When he saw, when he noticed, when he recognized that something has happened to him. Something supernatural. Something miraculous. Something that man could not give to him. When he recognized that God has intervened in his life. He did what? Returned. He returned. And with a loud voice. And with a loud voice. Glorified God. I only see loud voices when I go to Africa. That's where people praise God with a loud voice. But in Europe and the Western world, we are so gentle in dealing with God. We are so gentle, quiet, very civilized. But in Africa, people can roll on the floor. People can remove their clothes and throw it on the floor. People can do something mad. But that activity actually is a way of expressing their joy and their thanksgiving to God for what God has done. After today, I don't know when I leave this altar, whether I'm going to roll on the floor, whether I'm going to jump, whether I'm going to shout, just to give God thanks. Hallelujah. I'm civilized now because I'm talking to you and I have to restrain myself. I would have been jumping and thanking God for keeping me alive. 19 years. 19 years. Kashata. Taking me from nation to nation. Preaching the gospel. In places where the rain beat me up. In places I was dumped on the road by drivers. In places where the wind and the storms and the snows, they wanted to mess up with me. But the Lord was faithful to keep me. In accidents on the road, the Lord was faithful. Mosquito beating, the Lord was faithful. Even in Lulongwe, Malawi, I was asked to pay $20 for airport tax, but I didn't have it. But God sent his angel right in the airport to give me the money to pay for airport tax. Else, I will miss my plane. I will not fly out. How much can I say thank you, Lord, for all your goodness and mercy that you have allowed me to see and to witness. And thank you, Lord, for those you have raised up to stand with me in ministry. Those you have given the faith to believe that you called me. Those that you have raised up to stand saying, yes, we believe in this vision. Lord, I want to thank you for their life. I want to thank you for their families. I want to thank you for the partners, the bishops, all the people that together are jointed with us on this vision. Lord, together I join my voice to say, thank you for keeping us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for preserving us. Hallelujah. Amen. 
I remember also 12 years ago, right in this very Deptford, one day the key of the door of the building we were using was locked up and everything we have worked for was inside it and we left there with nothing. To me, I thought that was the end of the journey and God said to me, son, the word in your mouth is still more, speak more. The more you speak, more things will come, even the things you lost. So I keep speaking and I'm going to continue to speak. And I want to let everybody know, everyone under the sound of my voice, this particular moment, anyone hearing the sound of my voice, this particular moment, by the grace and by the power with which God has called me, I command God's blessings to come on you. I command the power of restoration to rest upon you that you will recover everything you have lost. I erase the powers that have stolen from you and I command them to restore back seven times what they have stolen from you. Your peace, your joy, your fruitfulness, your health. I command them to be restored back to you. Your money I command to be restored. Your progress I command that they be restored. Your health, every part of your life, I command that they be restored back to you. In the name of Jesus. The same God that has kept me to today. May he keep you. May he protect you. May he preserve you. May he increase you. May he prosper you. In every size of your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We have come to say, Lord, thank you. For your goodness, thank you. For your loving kindness, thank you. For the joy of our salvation, thank you. For the health you have given us, thank you. For the roof over our head, thank you. For the children you have given us, thank you. For the partners we are saying, thank you. For the ministers we are saying, thank you. For all you have done for us, we are saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. My guy, I have Abu Hoshaya. So one of them returned back and did what? Mm. Yes. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed. When he saw that he was, that healed, he was healed. Returned. He returned. And with a loud voice. With a loud voice. Glorified God. Can I call that voice uncivilized voice? You know, there are voices that are civilized, very highly educated, very quiet, very simple. But this man came with an uncivilized voice. The Bible calls it loud voice, loud voice, a noise making voice, not a quiet, gentle voice. With a loud voice, glorified God. Yes. And fell down on his face. And fell down on his face. At his feet. At his feet. Giving him thanks. Giving thanks to Jesus. And he was a Samaritan. And he was not even a believer. He was not in the common house of Israel. He was a Samaritan. Praise God. You know that some of us believers, when God do miracle for us, it's so simple. Sometimes we don't attribute to it the value that it requires because we are believers. But if an unbeliever is touched by God, you cannot control them. If an unbeliever is healed by God, you cannot quiet them. There are people actually in the church that will get healed. They will keep it quiet because they don't want people to know there are people that get blessed. They will keep it quiet because they don't want anybody to see it or to hear it. They will say, no, we, 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 we pray quietly and thank God. When this man came to Jesus, he did not come with quietness. He did not come with a gentle attitude. He came with uncivilized attitude because when God was healing him, that healing was uncivilized. 
who have heard and seen that a leper can be cleansed. It's not easy. He came with the same attribute, the same power, the same dignity with which God healed him. He came and fell down on his feet and with a loud voice, he glorified him. Right now, some of us have passed through this wind that is blowing all over the earth. We are still waiting. When it is time to give God glory and thanks, we are still waiting until, until what? When he saw that he was cleansed, the Bible says he came back and with a loud voice, he glorified God. He did not wait for the time to be right. He did not wait so that you know, he, he can prove. He did not wait. He came to give what? Thanks. Praise God. One of my sons in the Lord, he lives in France. When he received a, a, a WhatsApp message from me that today is my 19th year anniversary, being made a bishop. He asked me, is there any meeting? When is it? I said, the anniversary is today. He said, are you going on live? I tell him, I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live on, 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 on the Facebook. I'm not sure. But while I was there meditating, after he said that, I was quickened inside of me. Why not go live and give God thanks? And maybe also others may hear your thanksgiving and they may also give God thanks. You know, the Bible spoke in the, the word of God spoke in the Bible said that, you know, don't be weary in doing good for in due season God will reward. Is that correct? God, the Bible also says that, you know, it, it says, through our good works, thanksgiving is offered to God. See, when we do something good and people hear about it, they will join you to give God what? Thanks. I recognize that my life is not about me. My life is not about me anymore. My life is only about Jesus and his work. Therefore, anything that Jesus does for me that requires thanksgiving, I will give him thanks. And also there are people that my life has affected. I want them to know, not for the sake of me, so that they can join me and give God thanks. Somebody lift your hand and give God thanks. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. Thank you for the anointing you gave to us. Thank you for the many people our lives have affected. Thank you for the many people the vision of UK World Evangelism Church has affected. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he saw he was healed, he did what? He returned and with a loud voice glorified, glorified God. Yes. And fell down. And fell down. On his face. On his face. At his feet. At his feet. Giving him thanks. Now remember this act. Number one, he returned. Yes. Number two, with a loud voice. Number three, he fell down on his feet. Number four or five, he continued to give him what? Thanks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the attitude. This is the attitude. When somebody's heart is touched by God and he wants to rejoice before God and honor God, he displays it through his attitude. He came, not quieted with a loud voice, he glorified God. Meaning that, he doesn't want to make this a private miracle. He wants to make it a public statement to the glory of God. For the Bible says, with a loud voice, he glorified God. With a loud voice. Praise God. So there are things about God we are going to do that will require a loud voice. There are things about your life that when you begin to deal with God, you make it loud. You don't do it quietly. You do it loud. Praise God. 
with a loud voice, he glorified God. Praise God. Next thing, he fell down on his feet. Humility. Humility. I pray that every one of us will be baptized with humility. Because humility destroys the power of pride. Humility removes us from the people that God refused. Humility is what God requires from us. He humbled himself by falling down on his knees. Yes. 17. Yes. So Jesus answered and said. Jesus. Answer. Watching this, this man that has been cleansed of leprosy. Watching his attitude. Watching his thanksgiving. Watching his worship. He said what? Were there not ten lepers? Were are there not ten, ten cleansed? cleansed? Yes. But where are the nine? Where are the nine? My God, my God, my God. So, everything about the God we worship, he does not forget things easily. Jesus remembered that it was ten lepers that beckoned on him for healing. It was not just one. But out of the ten, one returned. Does it mean that the other remaining nine we are not cleansed? They were cleansed. Because Jesus knows they were cleansed. But he was asking, where are they not? Where is the nine? It's not only this one person that came, but there were nine people that were supposed to have come. Where are they remaining? Where are they? Yes. We are there not ten cleansed. We are there not ten cleansed. But where are the nine? Where are the nine? We are there not any found. We are there any of them not found who return who return to give glory to God to give glory to God except this foreigner except this foreigner. Watch this. Could it be that the nine we are of the house of Israel and this one is a foreigner? You know. Attitude and closeliness sometimes can disfigure glory to God. Familiarity. Why, why, why did the nine not come back? I'm asking myself. What made them not come back to acknowledge what Jesus has done? What hindered them? What is it that stood be before them that they could not return? Do you know that when they were lepers, they were not ashamed. Now they were healed. Maybe now they feel they don't want to come near where people are because they are still ashamed. You see, the devil made you sick. But when God heals you, you should be loud enough to tell people, God has healed me. God has delivered me. Because when the devil messes you up, he does not hide it. He makes sure that everybody see you with it. When they were lepers, everybody knew they were lepers. When they were lepers, everybody noticed they were lepers. But now they are cleansed. I'm sure they were a little bit, you know, uh, ashamed to come. Because they don't want people now to see them. But before people saw them, people know them. People know what was happening. Some people say, I am shy. When the devil mess you up, you were not shy. You were still shy. Now God heal you. God deliver you. God help you. God promote you. God increase you. Now you are shy to give him praise. Praise God Almighty. This, this, this Samaritan man, this foreigner, showed us that God, God requires our thanksgiving on a daily basis. When you wake up on your bed, first of all, give God thanks. Because there are people actually who went to bed but did not wake up. When you put food on your table to eat, give God thanks. Because there are people that woke up, but there was no food before them on the table. When you come back from work and enter your house, give God thanks. Because there are people that went out that very day to go to work, but they did not come back. Thanksgiving is an evidence that you have confidence, trust in God. Thanksgiving is a sign that you have dependency on God. You are not depending on yourself or what you can possess or what you can produce. You are depending on what God does for you 24 hours. Thanksgiving. This man came back to give God thanks. Hallelujah. 
I lift my hands with the saints of God in this house. We say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for 19 years. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for keeping this vision alive. Thank you for your mighty works. Thank you for the work you have done through us. Thank you for many souls you have reached through us. Thank you for those that are raised up through us. Thank you for those that are encouraged through us. And thank you for the people that have been an encouragement and strength to us. Father, thank you so much. We give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ooh, glory to God. So now that we have come to this far, we were sharing God bringing us into the fullness of God. There are things God wants to do for us. He wants us to grow into maturity, into the fullness of God. God is raising us up to grow into maturity, into the fullness of God, so that through us, greater works can be done. Hallelujah. Through us, greater works shall be what? Done. Can you help me and say to somebody and say to him, grow up. Say it to him again. Say, be strong. Say, grow up and be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Hallelujah. Read for me Isaiah, Isaiah 53. Coporia Messiah. Isaiah 53, read from verse 11. I want verse 12, but start from verse 11. He, sh he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many. Through the preaching of the knowledge of Christ, many people will be justified, yes? For he shall bear their iniquity. He, Jesus, has already borne our iniquity. Remember that the same chapter you are reading, verse 4, 5 says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement for our peace was laid upon him by whose stripes we were healed. Jesus has already done what? Born our griefs, carried our iniquities, our sorrow, the punishment for our sin has already been laid upon him. Is that correct? Now read verse 11 again to 12. Yes? He shall see the labor of his soul. He shall see the labor of his soul. And be satisfied. Meaning that there are things God wants to see in our lives that will make him satisfied. There are fruits that God wants us to bear that will make him satisfied. There are results, there are miracles, there are signs and wonder that God wants us to walk that will bring the soul of Jesus satisfied. Why? Because he paid a price for it. Everything we are doing that is manifesting the power and the glory of God was fully paid for. Jesus paid for them at the cross of Calvary. Meaning that he's expecting us to manifest them. Yes. Read on. By his knowledge, my righteous servant shall justify many. By the knowledge of him, many shall be justified. Yes. He shall bear their iniquities. Because he has already carried our iniquities and we carry our, has carried our iniquity. Yes. Therefore, Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great. Now I remember this story. Therefore, I will divide for him a portion with the great. Look at somebody say, God, God. will anoint you. And make your name great. Hallelujah. Why we are standing on that scripture. Remember Genesis chapter 12. God said to Abraham. I will make your name great. Here Jesus 
by prophecies being said to us. Therefore, he will divide him a portion with the great. I want to be great. How many of us want to be great? I want to be great. Because only those who are great are entitled to share a portion with him. Uh -huh, read on. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great. Yes. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. He will divide the spoil of his victory with the strong. Uh, look at somebody said, be strong. Be strong. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know about you. Me, I'm going to be strong. And I want you to be strong. Because listen brother, you cannot be part of the sharing of the portion if you are not great. If you are not part of the strong, you are not going to enjoy the spoil of the warfare. Hallelujah. And what again? He shall divide the spoil with the strong. He shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul. Because unto he death. poured out his soul unto, unto death. Uh -huh. And he was numbered with the transgressors. He was numbered with the transgressors. And he bore the sin. The sin of many. He bore the sin of many. And made intercession for the transgressors. And he made intercession for the transgressors. Jesus has prayed for me. Look at yourself. Say, Jesus has prayed for me. Declare, Jesus has prayed for us. Say, Jesus has prayed for the church. Hallelujah. And his prayer will be fulfilled. Jesus' prayer for my life will be fulfilled. Jesus' prayer for your life will be fulfilled. Jesus has prayed for us. He has made intercession for us. What intercession? It is finished. Christ fully paid. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. My God, my God. Go to Isaiah 60. I want you to read verse 15 and 16. I'm interested in 16. Yes. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated. Where you have been forsaken and hated. So that no one went through you. So that no one went through you. I will make you an eternal excellence. <laughs> this is a prophecy for someone. I don't know who will be able to receive it. Whereas... You have been forsaken and hated so that no one went through you. I will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. So it shall be unto you, your families, your children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 16, what does he say? And you shall drink the milk of the Gentiles. <laughs> and the milk and milk the breast of king yes you shall know that i the lord am your savior yes and your redeemer the mighty one of jacob somebody shout say this is our portion, this is our portion. from now on say it again say this is the portion for uk world evangelism church Every member of this church, every partner of this ministry, every friend of this ministry, every minister of this ministry, wherever you are, in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, as the Lord has spoken in Isaiah 60, verse 15 and 16. This shall be our portion from now on. It shall not return back to God void. It shall accomplish that for which God has sent it for. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it. Isaiah 60, 15 and 16. Isaiah 60, 15 and 16. We receive the prophecy. We receive the word of God. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Woo! Glory to God in the highest. Reread that scripture again. Mm. Whereas you have been forsaken. Where we have been forsaken. 
and hated. Where we have been hated. So that no one went through you. Where no one recognized or acknowledged us. I will make you an eternal excellence. God will make us eternal excellence. A joy of many. A joy for many nationalities and many generations. You shall drink the milk of the Gentiles. Declare with me, say, we shall drink the milk of the Gentiles. We shall drink the milk of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Read on. And milk the breast of kings. We shall milk the breast of kings. We shall milk the breast of kings. Say it. Yeah, read on. You shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior. We shall know that the Lord is our Savior. Say it. We shall know that the Lord is our Savior. Yes. And your Redeemer. The Lord is our Redeemer. The Lord is our Redeemer. The, the mighty one of Jacob. The mighty one of Jacob. The mighty one of Jacob. Hallelujah. If you believe it, give the Lord a good clap offering. Give him a good clap offering. Give him a good clap offering. Give the Lord a good clap offering. Yeah, <laughs> Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. In the name of Jesus. The mouth of the Lord have declared this. By the word that is written. And by the declaration we make here tonight. The Lord has spoken to us. And so it shall be unto us. Hallelujah. I say, so it shall be unto us, Amen. our families, Amen. our children, Amen. our brothers and sisters. Amen. So it shall be unto us Amen. for generation to generation. Amen. And after us, other generations, they we know that we are the people of God. They we know that we served God. They we know that we worship the Almighty. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Ooh, glory to God. I feel the anointing of the Lord in this place, church. I feel the anointing. Go ahead, give God praise if you want to say whatever you want to. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free. Marado shata. Kariarabo skala mandush. Marabos. Skala mandorobosh. Makata. Ribo skala mandush. Maribodosh, Robo Salama, Sante Kebush, Salamandesh, O Rabada, Makataraba, Sante Keboshiba, Sibolo Kotandesh, Robo Sabadakata, Makatoribaba, Salamanderebush, Ikatariarababush, Robo Scalamandush, Riba Scalamandush, Makataria Rababosh, Ribo Scalababa, Robo Sakataba, Manta Keboshalaba, Sikolo Bodia Maha, Robo Salamande, Kariba Shakopodia Masalaba. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My God, my God, my God. That's Supra Dunia. And wherever you are watching, I want to encourage you. If you have not given your life to Jesus, this is a great opportunity for you to surrender your life to Jesus and receive him in your life so that he can be your Lord and your Savior. Wherever you are, you are watching me. Also, you are saying, man of God, pray for me. I need a restoration in my life. I want God to restore me to my first love towards him. You are saying to me, man of God, Pray for me. I don't understand my direction in life. Things are not going the way God has planned it. I need the touch of God. The ten lepers, they were the ones that beckoned unto Jesus. The ten lepers saw him and they beckoned unto him and they said, Lord, Master. They acknowledged him by calling him Lord. They acknowledged him by calling him Master. Will you acknowledge Jesus in your life? Will you open your heart? And welcome him into your life. Will you ask him 
to forgive your sins and give you another chance wherever you are. If you want me to pray for you, now let us pray together. Let's pray so that Jesus may come. So that as a leper, you may be cleansed from your sin. You may be washed with the blood of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. I ask for forgiveness for every sin I have committed. Heavenly Father, have mercy on me. Wash me and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Jesus, I welcome you into my life to be my Lord and my Savior. I confess with my mouth you are the Son of God. You died on the cross of Calvary. You were buried and you rose again. I confess this with my mouth and I believe it with my heart. I am saved. I am born again. My sins are forgiven. Today, my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for saving me. Thank you, Lord. For delivering me in Jesus mighty name Amen if you pray this prayer with me wherever you are east, west, north and south wherever you are there is no distance in the realm of the spirit if you pray this prayer you are born again you are a new creature your name is today written in the Lamb's book of life it's a new beginning for you I want to encourage you get a Bible and start reading your Bible go to a Bible believing church hallelujah hallelujah and if you want to know more about what we are doing go to our website or call us on the telephone all the details are on the screen let us know how we can be a help to you and we can minister to you in the name of jesus hallelujah i say hallelujah Amen. i say hallelujah Amen. Woo, glory to god I, I feel the fire of god and some of you who are sick on your body, Pradunia, by his stripes we we are healed. By his stripes we we are healed. I want to pray for you and I want to believe God to heal you from your sickness and your disease. I want God to deliver you and let the yoke of snare of the enemy be broken off your life. Wherever you are, if you're sick in your body, take your right hand and place it on that part of your body that you're sick. Either on your head, your body, your leg, wherever you have that pain, wherever you are going through that, I want you to lay your hands right there, right now, and receive the miracle of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that is watching this program right now, wherever they are. I pray for everyone that is sick in their body. I command their body to be healed from that sickness in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke of darkness that the enemy has laid over your life. I break it now in the name of Jesus. I destroy every spiritual bondage the enemy has used against you. I break it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release God's healing power to touch you. I release the anointing of God to touch you. Wherever you are right now, receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be made whole. Be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Woo. Glory to God. Miracles are taking place wherever you are. Do something you couldn't do before. Shake your hands, shake your leg, whatever, whatever you couldn't do before, do it. Receive the anointing of the Lord. Receive the anointing of the Lord. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive in the name of Jesus. 
I rebuke that sickness to leave you. I command that pain to leave you. I command that arthritis to leave you. I cause that sugar diabetes to die from the root and depart out of your life. I break that yoke of cancer over you. I cause cancer in your blood to die. Cancer in your bone to die. Cancer in your brain to die. Cancer in your kidney to die. Every trace of cancer in your life, I command them to die. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus, I release God's grace over you. Be made whole. Be set free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The message you are reading with me in the book of Luke, chapter 17, from verse 14. Jesus asked the question, We are there not ten that was made cleansed? Where is the nine? After that statement, Jesus made a powerful statement. He said to the man, What? Arise. Arise. Go your way. Go your way. Your faith has made you Your faith well. has brought you into a place of wellness. Every one of you under the sound of my voice tonight, by the grace that God has bestowed upon me over these 90 years to bear witness that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's taking me from nation to nation to declare His grace and power and to teach the Word of God by the same authority. I declare, go, you are made well. Hey. Receive it now. Hey. God has made you well. God has made us well. Wherever you are, shout God has made us well. God has made us well. We are made well. It is well with us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We worship you. We honor you. Wherever you are, give God thanks and praise and glory and honor. Acknowledge God. If it has not been the Lord who was with us, <laughs> if it has not been the Lord, the waters would have swallowed us. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. Every snare over our life is broken. Every snare of rejection, failure, disappointment is broken. Every snare of poverty and lack is broken. Every snare of immigration problem is broken. Every snare is broken. It is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we have escaped. My God. And help also have come to us. For our help cometh from there. Oh. Hallelujah. Somebody say my help has come. From the Lord my help has come. From the Lord our help has come. From the Lord help has come to us. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you all and everyone watching. God bless you. If you want to be part of UK World Evangelism Church and know what we are doing, just send us an email. Call us. Do something. Faith without works is dead. Now God bless you. i see you again very soon. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Oh, no. 